Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive starseed Tamara, your light worker. Back with another video read for the collective. How are you guys? Welcome back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your donations, guys. Mwah. Hugs and kisses to you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hopefully the messages resonate with you in some way. Or you just get in it for the vibe of your choice, alright? I do curse on this channel. I do use profanity. So if that's going to be an issue, I may not be the reader for you. All right. Gender can be fluid over here. So he can be a she. She can be a he. Flip the roles. Make sure you guys are doing your return to senders. Okay. Call on Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron to do your return to senders. Do your calling for your energy bag from people, exes, places. You know that no longer serve your higher self okay if i'm talking about a masculine i could also be talking about a feminine so gender is fluid over here all right it's a general read so anything else you may need from me will be in the description box below okay so let's get into this read could be clarity of validation for others of you also all right so this could be past present or future energy that of my beautiful handsome collective your past persons people around you them places times and also events energy come from a lot of different angles different things okay first card out feeling not good enough in his family somebody already not feeling they family, you know, fully is on the same page as them. They may feel like, you know, this could be a people pleaser. This may be somebody that, you know, has made a lot of choices based on what their family think, you know, their approval. And they may feel like their family don't approve of things about them. They may be seeing it now. Or they may be feeling it more than seeing it. They're just... You know, they, their family is not as supportive when it comes to them in particular. And it may just be their lifestyle. You know, they may not know exactly what it is. They may be holding back from even um, inquiring about it just because it's just a feeling. Okay, it's just a feeling. So they may not have addressed their family about it. You know, this may just be something somebody's starting to sense all of a sudden or starting to see the signs, you know, that's making them feel that way now. They may be, you know, going through something or wanting to express something to them or have and the outcome or, you know, the energy they getting back, you know, as far as a response is not what they expected. And this could be, you know, a father-son thing or a mother-daughter thing, but I feel like it's a parent thing. I feel like it's a parent thing. It's somebody with their parents, both parents. And, he's, you know, this could be somebody whose parents are still together, but... They've been... I feel like somebody been feeling like they not good enough, period, like for a while. Next card, you're not his secret anymore. So somebody, you know, has hold on. Yeah. Somebody a people somebody been a people pleaser for a while. Or they've been, you know, hiding their feelings, not somebody ain't been just hiding their feelings towards you, collective. Somebody been hiding their feelings about how their family treat them too. But I feel like somebody in my collective know how they family treat a past person of theirs or ex love of yours.
but you're not his secret anymore. You're not this person. You're not a secret to a past person anymore. Not just by way of somebody finding out, but it's just by way of the fact somebody's not denying you anymore. Somebody's not. Somebody's not denying like they know you or care about you, love you, or in love with you or nothing like that. Like somebody's not denying you in that area to the point where they not looking at you or trying to hold you in a situation where you are a secret. Because it's like whoever needs to know or that didn't know, they know now. And it may be just by way of your past person or ex-lover here. So whether this person told somebody about you or somebody found out about you by way of you. Okay. And I say by way of you by saying you may have said something that It's like the way you explain something you may have been telling somebody about, just talking about, you know, somebody or some situation in your past to somebody or, or in general, and somebody put two and two together and realized you were the person that somebody actually, you know, was talking about or... It's like somebody figured out that you were the person that this person is trying, or you the person that somebody is involved with or has feelings for. Like somebody may not have known who out of the options somebody has is the person that somebody is having, you know, some deep rooted feelings for. But I feel like the way you talk about something or you have share some insight about something in your life that it kind of put somebody on to the, the person that they person is feeling this way about is that person by way of what you said or how you said something the way you described a situation or something and it may have lined up with something somebody else was dealing with You know, I'm getting that, that it's a situation somebody um found out their person was cheating on them by way of an Uber or a Lyft ride they were they took and they got an Uber or Lyft home to a place they shared with a guy. And the driver that took them was a female. And when they got to their destination, the female said, oh, I done um, dropped somebody off or I have come by here before and picked somebody up and dropped somebody off here. Um, she said, I talked to somebody here or I go, I talked to a dude that live here or something like that. And she was wondering how the girl knew this, you know, how she knew about the address or whatever. She was like, because I talked to somebody that live here like that. And that's how she found out her dude was who her dude was messing around with or that he was even messing around so you could be somebody that knows something or gave like a description of a, a situation or a scenario or something like that and if it, it, it was in line with somebody's 
curiosity or you know somebody you know just out of nowhere you know finding something out but it also could be the fact that somebody just you know finally came out about it to people that they have been keeping it from or you know for whatever reason but you're not his secret anymore you know it's one of them things where you don't walked away from somebody that may have kept you in the third party unbeknownst to you and by you walking away in a cycle with them you know you no longer a secret so it's like you know a few different scenarios i got you know from that card but i feel like it's you know in my collective it's one of them three things for you know a lot of different people so just take what resonates Because I do feel like, you know, somebody kind of had a feeling intuitively that they were somebody's secret. Like somebody was not telling them they was in a third party. And somebody was trying to keep somebody from knowing they was in a third party. And somebody just knew that they were by the way somebody moved and, you know, the way they carried themselves. The way they went about doing things and not doing shit. And somebody, you know, just decided to go ahead on you know, just walk away because they they didn't sign up for that. And that in itself made you no longer a secret, you know, of this of this past person. Next car thinking of calling you from a private number. Most got them blocked for like somebody don't want to call you from their number because they know you ain't gonna answer. I'm getting the collective may not even remember somebody's number, so it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> they real somebody no actual number is gonna look new too. So I'm getting somebody don't even People don't even dial number these days. So the fact that they just programmed in somebody's phone under their name, they nobody really takes the time to even remember somebody's actual digits unless they gotta write them down or you know, somebody asks them for it and even then they gonna if they got their phone with them, they're just gonna go to their contacts, give it to you. Next card, make me your sex slave, please. So somebody is uh in that energy of uh lusting or obsessing over your energy sexual. Or somebody got a damn succubus on them or something. Or an incubus, because at this point, somebody is desperate, like <laughs> It's a demon that want to be uh, fed or something. Somebody got a damn fetish or something. Over the road trucker can be significant. card they just took their money that's why nothing happened so somebody pay a practitioner some money to do something for them and somebody knew they was lying or they didn't under they didn't agree with what somebody was telling them they wanted some divination done on somebody for whatever they whatever this story mine was somebody didn't believe it they, they seen all through that shit or they got tired of somebody coming in trying to cloak their energy and lie about what they want to get some work done on somebody for and somebody just decided to just take their money and let them go on because they knew somebody was lying. Like somebody was lying about why they wanted this practitioner to attack somebody here to you know help them with some divination here.
this could have been a couple that came toward this practitioner. Or somebody that's in a relationship or some type of commitment with somebody. And somebody came toward this. One of them came toward this practitioner. But this person just took the money. So they've been sitting around watching readings and, you know, wanting to call and try to reach out or, you know, whatever this is to see if this shit working. But this it ain't working because somebody didn't do it. They know their ass was lying. And they got tired of them doing it. They done told them all kind of lies already. And somebody ain't willing to jeopardize losing their gifts over these uh, spit devils here. They're going to have to, you know, get their shit together. Because somebody is not... Somebody is not going to be in the wrath of somebody's karma and towers. By way of them coming in here with these lying ass, you know, stories and, you know... Story plot twists and all this shit here. And this person know they lying because they did something. They either did a reading on these people or this individual and found out that they was lying. Probably the first time they came to them for something, to, you know, for them to do something. Because I feel like somebody told somebody that if it was about this or that and they can't do something the way they can't do something, how spiritual laws come into play, if, you know, what can happen if this and that, and somebody still kept lying. Somebody kept lying to that practitioner and the person just went on and took their money because they got tired of them lying in their face about what they want this person to do for them. And this person just took their money, knowing they, they wasn't going to do it because they know these people be lying. And the karma come down on this person. They ain't going to be able to reverse what somebody want them to do. So they didn't do it. Because I'm getting this person on this practitioner or whoever this is, they don't really too much care for this person. They don't. They know they're lying. Taurus feminine can be significant. Person crying over you, feeling bad, hurt. This car is struggling with this missed opportunity. Man or woman. Somebody upset with the fact that, you know, you're not looking back at, you know, no a reconciliation at this point.
four years can be significant. Somebody been with somebody for years? Somebody been dealing with something for the last four years. Wanted my cake and eat it too. Yeah, they've been wanting it for about four years now. Yeah. You can give and take. It's hard. Scared of your scared of your intuition. Penny pension is their karma. Somebody's scared of what you already know. Because I'm getting somebody don't really know why you walked away. They don't know what you know as far as, you know, when you walked away. They just know that you, you know, you bowed out gracefully. You walked away with no argument. You walked away with no, you know, animosity, no grudges or nothing like that. You just went on. Because somebody gave you enough, you know, receipts on who they were and how they wanted you to see them. And the way they wanted you to see them is how you saw them. Eventually, that's how you saw them. Because you kept wanting to question yourself and how you seen somebody. But this person kept showing you who they were. No matter what, no matter what direction you looked at them in, this person showed themselves at every turn. At every turn, they showed themselves. And they were playing games with you and the games they were playing with trying to have their cake and eat it too they were just showing you how they was going to continue to treat you and somebody walked away you end up walking away from this person 
It's, it, I mean, it's cut and dry. This person want to know what you know, but they know you know something. And the one thing I know the collective do know is they weren't finna let whoever this past person is keep playing in their face and ain't got shit. Whatever they was over there, you know, playing in your face to be with and be around. By way of their family's approval. Ain't letting them know damn well. And they still ended up on the losing end. Feeling like their family don't feel like they're good enough. Don't feel like their decisions is good enough. They decisions ain't very high vibing. If this person allowed people around them to look at them in a low vibrational way, it's because they were low vibrational and they could be just the black sheep of the family and supposed to be breaking curses, generational curses. And somebody sitting right here, you know, stroking, stroking their parents' ego and some other folks when they need to be healing their own and letting go of Just saying. Now they karma is penny pinching because the family and everybody else been looking at somebody going towards somebody for financial status. They got a lot more going on than this person. They ain't even got this. They ain't even got that. Now your ass ain't got it either. And you're penny pinching. Okay? Hello. Stuck in a karma cycle with that bullshit. Exactly. Was supposed to been walked away, but they know how to do more playing and pleasing folks than they do making up their mind and going toward the right thing and knowing that the people that shouldn't be there are gonna fall away anyway. Whether you remove them or the most high God remove them, or your spirit team or your ancestors of light remove other ancestors that got their ass in the way. It's hard to catch me when I give a damn. Never. But somebody really doing the most to see if you give a damn. Don't nobody give a damn. It ain't for you to give a damn. When you gave a damn, somebody didn't. And they showed you they didn't give a damn. Now they, you know, somebody could be a vodka drinker. Could be significant. Next card, obsessed, trying to manifest you back in. I don't know why they want to manifest, you know, better outcomes and better energy and the family accepting them and not making them feel like they left out, you know, in the cold. I don't know why they want to manifest that shit to be better. Next card, not going to give up on you ever after we are reunited. So this person feels as though once you guys, you know, are back in union, they're not going to do nothing to let you go. I don't feel like this person let you go before. They don't want to let you go now, but they let go. They let go. They ain't got no other choice but to let go. I feel like this person that had enough of their they own bad choices. That the only other choices they ain't made is the ones that's going to piss everybody else off except the collective. And this is how this person was going to have to look at it before. But they were too busy being a people pleaser. Worried about making decisions based on what other people are going to say and do. Because they don't want to be cast out and everybody sitting around the round table talking about them. When they get up and go to their car. It's some people still lingering behind how they talk about your ass. Somebody just gonna have to accept it. Next card took the kindness you shared from others as competition. So anybody trying to be nice towards you, you know, um, especially if you were kind towards your past person. You know what I'm saying? And and was 
thoughtful enough to give them something on their birthday and stuff like that. This person looked at those things as, you know, a way of you competing with them. It's like if you gave somebody something for their birthday that they didn't already have, they looked at it like, I'm going to show this person I can afford them something that's, you know, expensive. And they looked at it like, oh, shit, I could have bought myself this. This ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've got to be this. Like, they want me to see they got a little money. That kind of shit. I'm telling you, this bird, this person, listen, low vibrational, this person's brain can fit in a peanut uh, butter jar. I'm just saying. It's probably liquid. at this, It probably don't liquefy at this point. I feel like somebody just took, you know, the things that you admired or was uplifting them, you know, about as a slap in the face. And they already got family that don't really even do that. Next card, letting you go is so hard. I know it. Don't you know it, collected? Next card, one man's trash was another man's treasure. So, I mean, for some of you, you got a new suitor coming in or coming towards you due to your vibration or what you're manifesting at this time. And it's at a, a higher frequency where you are at this point with yourself, within yourself. And it's pulling somebody in that is equal give and take for you. Next card, won't marriage with you, Divine Feminine. What about you? First, middle, last, and initial M. Four W. Somebody want to know if you want to get married, uh, collected. This, this is somebody's uh, goal here. And I feel like hopefully, what I'm feeling is hopefully this person ain't looking at marriage as something to like woo you over like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like there's something they feel like that's what you want or that's the way they can, you know, get you back in, you know, is to bring that up or, you know, pop that question and see, you know, if they can buy, buy, if it'll buy them some more time to get in your good energy. But I feel like somebody asking this, it's like asking a damn trick, a trick question. Like, you want to get married? You know, are you considering marriage? Who ain't? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the question of, are you done playing? Are you done, you know, being this bullshit all the time? Are you done with the bullshit? Are you, you know, are you still over here being a, a protest and not here an advocate for bullshit? Is that what you're doing? You know, because when you get done doing that, yeah, anybody be, you know, I think some of the people in the collective will be considering marriage, but they ain't trying to marry, you know, nobody that's married to the streets and that's for the streets. Next card, his karmic lover has been poisoning his drinks and food out of spite. Hmm. Person been putting blood in their food. That's for some of you, not all of you. And this could be household cleaner stuff. Things that shouldn't be ingested. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if this person opens something around them, let's just say it's a 20 ounce Coke. They don't need to leave that 20 ounce Coke around this woman because she's going to put something in it. If they eating off each other's plate or they eating, you know, this person fixing their plate and bringing it to them or something like that. You know how back in Roman times they would make you eat out of that food just to make sure you ain't trying to, that's what this person ought to do. They ought to make this person eat or drink something that they bring them. Eat, you know, it could be a three, four course meal. 
they ought to make them eat some out, eat some of it before they do. No, eat off my plate. No, you go ahead. No, you know, go on to eat. You know, try this. Make their ass eat it. Next card, blinded by a shitload of fake love. This card right here tells you that. <laughs> if somebody puts shit in your food out of spite, they looking for you to be sitting around uh, calling Earl Collick over toilet and, you know, making a deposit at the damn hospital of your guts and anything else courtesy of what they done put in your damn food and drinks. But whatever it is, they know it ain't going to be something that's going to sit in your body. They know you're going to throw it away. But the fact that they run tests to see you know, what you have been exposed to, it ain't gonna go away. Somebody was so used to the fake love, they thought your true love was fake. Got a question at this time? Let me need a yes or no. No is out here. Heather can be significant. Next card, past life connection with them. So you got a past life connection with this person. Or your person got a past life connection with this karmic. And if they, you know, maybe feeling like, you know, you guys are like, you know, a vibe when you together or something like that, or you know, this uh, a reader may have told them this, or you may already know this collective, just intuitively, you know, feel like you and this person done met before, or y'all get together, y'all may talk like somebody that been knowing each other for years, like whatever y'all met across paths, you may have just seen like at a time like y'all just clicked. And this person, you know, even to them, they might not have mentioned it to you, but even to you, it may have felt like, where you been, you know, all my life? Like, I've been waiting on you, that kind of thing. This is a past life connection. First, middle, last, initial H can be significant. However, that past life ended is why you guys are back in this on this earthly plane together. And in a past life connection, you know, this person may have made, racked up a lot of karma. In this life, this person is, you know, got to pay back this karmic debt by decisions they made back then, even you. So... Next card, surrendering the need to control. Especially the, the outcome. Somebody could have Saturn in their chart. This is a Aquarius and Capricorn energy, like seriousness and responsibility. So you could have some Saturn placements in your chart. Aqua, Capricorn. So somebody could have, um, there's an Aquarius or a Capricorn could have Saturn placements in a chart, but this is uh, seriousness and responsibility. Next card, last card, use divination out of the pain, shame of what I did to make you care anymore. To make you not care anymore. So whatever this person used divination on when it came to, you know, them missing out on this opportunity and doing this out of the shame that they felt, you know, that they allowed themselves to fall for these shenanigans and get caught up and swept up and occupied by all this negativity of somebody just not, you know, using their own intuition and going up to their own happiness 
instead of you know making choices based on what other people think only for these people to be looked at as somebody with fake love like they didn't even really love this person like and this could be family members this could be parents but it's like somebody was not getting genuine responses from people in their family about somebody And the way they treated this masculine collective, I feel like even if this is a parental two parents or something like that, I feel like one of them that may make this masculine feel like they're not good enough is a mother figure. Could be their mom. But this is somebody that also may have made you feel like, you know, they were faking liking you too. This card better to bend than to break. And this card is just, you know, saying it, uh, it's better to bend than to break. It's like more acceptable to see what comes of a little compromise. You know, what compromising can do. So it's like, um... When it comes to you compromising, you can, you know, come to an agreement, you know, that two people can stand on and be able to keep the end of the bargain on because it's a two-part thing. It's, you know, it's a uh, collaboration. It's something that, you know, you both have to come together on. So it may not be a right or wrong thing. You know, it's going to be this way and this way, you know, period. No, it's going to be this way. If you can't, it's better to bend than to break. Okay? So it's better to just compromise than to just break up and walk away, you know, and end something that can easily be solved with just a little compromising. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe a union between two people ended up going through that. But it took somebody to have to walk away because somebody was not willing to make the necessary changes in order for compromising to be something that could be a factor. Because somebody was too goddamn unhealed in a lot of areas to even accept compromising. You just can't compromise with somebody that needs to heal. You can't. That person got to heal. Otherwise, hurt people hurt people. But that's all I got collected for you in this read. I'm going to end it here. Make sure you guys do something nice for someone, even if you don't know them. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that like, that share, subscribe, come back and fuck with your girl, I fuck with you, all right? If you choose not to, that's fine, all right? Love and light to you guys. For those that genuinely love me, know that I love you too. Bye.